In this section, we want to look at the design wind pressures for doors and windows. We have a big roller door with 20 square meter area, also another door with 3 square meter, and a small window with 1 square meter area. For the roller door that has 20 square meter area and is located on the southwest wall, we might have two different uh, situations for the wind loading. The first one is a positive wind load applied on the surface, which is in this direction. So this is related to the southwest wind direction. And the second one is when we have a negative case for wind load, which means in this direction. This is when we have wind in southeast or northwest directions. So let's look at the first situation, uh, which means southwest wind direction. So in this situation, KCE and KCI would be 0 0.9. This is the case related to the doors and uh, windows. KL is 1 because this is uh, for structural elements, not claddings. CP and E because um, in this direction uh, it's going to be considered as windward wall. It's going to be positive 0 0.7. So uh, our C fig and external would be CPE times KA. Ka is 1 as well uh, for windboard walls uh, times Kc and Kl, which we already have the values for. Cfig would be positive 0 0.63. Uh, so uh, in this direction, our um, design wind speed is 42.8 meter per second. So now we can calculate external wind pressure of positive 0 0.69 kPa. Now let's look at our internal wind pressures. So for the internal wind pressures, um, we have two values of 0 and negative 0 0.3. So um, we need to combine external wind pressure with the internal wind pressures. So our um, external wind pressure is positive. So it means it's towards the surface, so it's this direction. Our internal wind pressure is either negative, so it's away from the surface, or zero. So as you can see, we need to combine uh, external wind pressure with the negative internal wind pressure to get the maximum value for our um, wind applied on, the, on this roller door. So our negative internal wind pressure would be um, negative 0 0.3 kPa. Uh, with this CV calculated here, and we design and theta that we already know the values. And uh, our net pressure on the, um, this roller door would be um, adding these two values together, 0 0.69 plus 0 0.3, which is going to be 0 0.99 kPa. Let's look at the second situation of wind loading on the door which produces negative wind pressure. For this reason, we need to look at uh, southeast wind direction and northwest wind directions. From these two directions, southeast has the higher um, design wind speed. So we are going to look at this uh, direction. So um, in order to calculate external wind pressure, first we need to calculate C phi and E, which is equal to CPE times Ka times Kce times Kl. So uh, Cpe, because uh, it's, the door is located in the zone of 1h to 2h, is going to be negative 0 0.5. Ka is going to be 0 0.93. This is taken from table 5 by uh, calculating the uh, by interpolation, because our area is 20 square meter. And um, Kc and E is 1 because internal pressure is 0. And uh, Kl is 1 because area is 20 square meter and is larger than 0 0.25a to the power of 2. So as a result, our C fig would be um, negative 0 0.47. And 
our external wind pressure with the design wind speed in southeast wind direction of 42.8 meter per second would be negative 0.52 kPa. Now, um, combining this external wind pressure with the internal wind pressure, so our um, external would be negative, so it's away from the surface. Internal wind pressure can be negative or zero. Negative means distraction and zero um, means zero, so it doesn't have any direction. So it's clearly we need to co uh, co consider the uh, value of zero because uh, the negative value will be subtracted from our external wind pressure and it's going to give us uh, a smaller value. So um, as a result, net pressure on the wall, um, actually on the door, is going to be negative 0.2 kPa.